Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. So I am starting the vlog off super late today. It is 1.45. I spent the morning editing yesterday's vlog. I had a ton of footage because I obviously started decorating my tree. I still have to put quite a few more baubles on there and then also I need to add ribbon, some picks, and some other things, and then obviously the tree topper. But I did the majority of it last night. So I'm hoping that I will be able to finish the rest of it later, and then I can finally start taking care of the rest of the house and cleaning up and stuff. I've just been completely running out of time lately with editing the vlog and then getting stuff done. I hope you guys don't think I live like a complete pig because my house is always a mess. This happens every Vlogmas basically just because I run out of time, and Sebastian helps as much as he can especially with the house stuff I'm so grateful that he helps me take care of the house like it would be a lot worse than it is right now if he wasn't helping me so I can't wait to actually finally clean and do more like a deep clean which will make me feel so good like it'll cleanse my soul I have to take a shower in a minute I'm gonna try to make as much progress on the vlog as I can I might have to edit the rest of the vlog in the car because we're going to leave here at like 3.45 ish. We're picking up some packages that I had ordered to the US and then had them mail forwarded. Uh, I was really stupid. I was really feeling it early in November that I wasn't able to go to the States to do my traditional stuff that you guys all know I love to do like go to Trader Joe's and go to Target and just go spend some time across the border and also I usually order so many packages around this time of the year to the States. Uh, so I was really disappointed and I placed an order from Target for a bunch of like wrapping paper, a couple uh, decor pieces, maybe 25 items I ordered. And they ended up shipping it from all different Target locations, which doesn't sound very feasible for shipping costs because I didn't even pay for shipping. They shipped 12 or 13 packages to my US mailbox. So what ended up happening was when I wanted to have it mail forwarded to Canada, I have to pay for each individual package, not for just one order that I placed. And on top of that, there's like a mail forwarding fee, which is pretty expensive. And then I have to pay duties on everything and extra taxes and stuff. So in the end, I think it either cost me 140 Canadian dollars or 140 US dollars just to have this package delivered to Canada. So I'm really kicking myself because it was such a dumb purchase. Initially, it seemed great because I was like, wow, these prices on wrapping paper is so inexpensive. This is so exciting. And then I figure out that it's actually so expensive because of all the costs to have it brought across the border. But I learned my lesson and I'm going to hopefully be really excited about all the wrapping paper because wrapping paper is something that makes me very happy. So I'll probably haul those items for you guys, for those of you who are in the US, because I know most of my audience is in the US. And if you like anything, then maybe they'll still be available, especially if you live near a Target, which would be even more convenient. I wanted to start wrapping things this weekend because I always end up leaving the wrapping until like late in December. Last year was maybe the first year that I had everything wrapped before everyone came here. Usually what happens is I'm so tied up with other stuff, like editing vlogs or last minute cleaning or picking that items up and stuff that I will end up wrapping super late on the night before Christmas. I'm really hoping that I can start catching up on all the Christmas activities that I wanna do uh, once I get the tree finished. I haven't done any of the stuff that I usually love to do. I haven't even really watched any Christmas movies. I mean, I sometimes have them on in the background, but I don't really pay attention because I'm editing. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, Sebastian's off now, so he's off until Christmas, which means these vlogs should be more fun, knock on wood. So I'm really looking forward to the next couple weeks off with him. It's gonna be really nice. We can do things during the day. Hopefully I'll have a better schedule and I won't be editing my videos during the day. That would be really nice. Uh, maybe I can have them done or mostly done the night before and then have more of a full day. Oh my gosh, have I had this red thing on my face the entire time? What even is this? Was I like holding myself or something? I feel like lately my skin has been freaking out in rashes and I don't really know why because it's completely flat when I touch it. There's nothing here, but I can see just like a huge red mark. 
Do I have one here too? It might actually also be for my self tanner, which I have to reapply later. I'm just like such a glutton for punishment. My skin's freaking out. I'm gonna put more self tanner on in a little bit. <laughs> so it is 426. I haven't updated the vlog in a long time. I took a shower and my hair is still soaking wet. We're in the car on the way to go pick up the packages. I have my computer on my lap. I'm editing yesterday's vlog, trying to get it finished, but I've been so tired today that I'm just editing so slowly. I'm basically done, I think. I just have to watch it and see if everything is okay. I haven't done any updates today. I feel weird about the fact that I don't really have any footage from today yet, but I will have obviously a lot more when we go home. I'm gonna finish up the tree. Fashion's gonna help me. Earlier today, he was on the sofa with me and I was like, yeah, and you know what you have to do later to the tree. And he's like, what? The tree is done. Nothing else has to be done to the tree. The tree is finished. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll put the angel on because he knew I was talking about the ribbon. He hates doing it, but Sebastian always does the best job of it. So motivate you through compliments. Yeah. It's like Phoebe said, people will believe anything as long as it's a compliment. <laughs> It has been a few hours since I've updated the vlog. I really haven't vlogged much today. I've been so tired. I think just the lack of sleep is catching up with me. So basically all I did all day was edit. And then once I got my vlog up, I was like, I really need to take a nap. I took a nap for about an hour. Sebastian went to the grocery store and grabbed some stuff so that we could make a snack. It's Friday night and it's the first night of Sebastian's vacation. He's off until Christmas now. We're so excited, but he still does have some stuff to work on. So he yeah. won't be completely off. But anyway, but it's, gonna be different. it's gonna be different, which is really nice. On Friday nights what we usually do is we will have snacks, we will have like cheese and crackers, brie or nachos, just like things that you pick at. It's just more fun to eat. So tonight, because it's the holidays, we're going to make a Christmassy appetizer that I've never made before but I've made something similar. It's kind of like pull apart bread but it uses string cheese in biscuits. So we're going to use uh, some of these Pillsbury biscuits. We were supposed to get a different kind, but they didn't have them. So we're gonna have to work with these ones. But I've seen so many different variations of this. Tasty does them all the time. So we're making a Christmas tree out of biscuits stuffed with cheese, and then you add a little bit of garlic butter on top with some fresh parsley and some Italian seasoning. This is my favorite Italian seasoning. It is from Clubhouse. I don't know if this is sold everywhere or if it's just a Canadian thing. It's the same type of seasoning that they use on pizza from pizza chains like Pizza Hut or Domino's. Domino's, that kind of thing. When you, when you get like cheesy bread or something and they have that nice garlicky kind of crumble on top, that's kind of what this tastes like. So I love using this. So we're just gonna get started. Every time. It's so hard for me to ah! It wasn't yes. even mine. Damn, I did a bad job opening this. Ah! <laughs> I hate these. I hate them. I'm giving myself a heart attack. Christmas tree in the oven. We messed up. I messed up. I was looking at so many different recipes because they were all so similar and I was like, I don't want to add ricotta cheese. I don't want to have to go get like many different kinds of cheese strings. So I'm going to go with just plain cheese strings, whatever. The Betty Crocker one that I was closely following required that you had 32 cheese strings. Initially, I thought I only needed eight and so Sebastian only bought 16. This might be a complete fail. I'm hoping it's not going to be, but it might be. So while we wait for that, we're going to make some drinks. I'm really excited. We are going to make a sugar cookie martini that I saw on Delish and it looked delish. 
Anyway, so we're gonna make this martini. It's a little bit extra. Part of the recipe was to add little candy cane cookies on the side of the martini. Me being lazy, I decided I'm gonna use some of these Pillsbury sugar cookies just for two of them. I'm gonna take these two candy cane cookie cutters and kind of try to flatten the cookie out and press them and then bake them so that I can just cover the cookie and frosting and then add some fun colorful sprinkles on top. So that's my plan. Either way, the drink sounds delicious. It uses some Baileys, it uses amaretto, and I knew Sebastian was gonna be excited about this. I'm not, like I'm not a huge fan of it, but I told Sebastian, I was like, you're gonna love this because it tastes exactly like marzipan. It is almond liqueur. It also uses vodka. It calls for vanilla vodka, but we have regular right now, so I figured I would just add a little splash of vanilla to it. So the first thing we're gonna do, I think, I'm gonna try to squish some of them, like two of them. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. It might not even work. Okay, this might not be the best idea. These are very soft. They were like falling apart as I was trying to transport them over to this sheet, but we will have, hopefully, something that will work as a garnish. Yum, that looks... Amazing. I'm excited about this. Here is the Christmas tree pull apart bread. I wish I had done a little bit more research because I followed kind of the delish recipe and the Betty Crocker recipe. The delish recipe called for half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, but I feel like I should have just used like two tablespoons or at most a quarter of a cup. Wherever there's like a thick layer, it's just cheese. We just had to add more butter so that it would be like a spreadable consistency or that I could brush it over the bread. Cookies are done. These ones actually turned out. Okay, so we're gonna do the drinks. We're gonna take some of this. Betty Crocker, cre it's a creamy deluxe French vanilla frosting. Yum. What do you do with that? Oh. We're gonna take a spatula and I'm just gonna rub it around the rim of the glass. I've got the rims frosted. I'm gonna use these cute little balls right here. jar because we don't have a martini shaker. Half a cup of whole milk. I'm actually going to use more like a quarter of a cup and I'm going to add some whipping cream. What's this, amaretto? Yeah, It amaretto. says two ounces of amaretto. All right, amaretto is in. Two ounces of vodka. It's going to be a strong drink. I feel like I keep trying all these strong drinks. Okay, so there's one. Two. Okay. This is the best vanilla. I buy this on Amazon. It smells incredible. I've never found even expensive vanilla does not taste better than this. This whole thing is like 25 bucks. It's I think a liter. If you're looking for good vanilla, try this out. I love it. Oh, by the way, it's um, it's just called Mexican vanilla, but this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little splash of vanilla. Oops. Oh, that's a big splash. And the next thing we're going to add is a quarter cup of Bailey's. Quarter cup, that's really strong. Well, I guess this is definitely a sipping drink. This All looks right. amazing. It looks so cute. Didn't have enough. I ended up pouring way too much in this one, but it's not a bad thing because I'm we both be okay know that he's that. gonna want more of it anyway. Let's try the little cookie first. That's really cute. Mm. Mine is a little bit soft still on the top. Frosting, that's so good. Mm. That is a really nice garnish. I wonder if it's good in here. So sweet. The drink is so strong. These are very strong. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I love it. I so vanilla -y. it's so foamy and also so strong. It's very strong. I feel like the things that you taste the most of are Bailey's and Amaretto. But I love the flavor from the drink combined with um, the icing on the outside. It's so Christmassy. 
One thing I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do vodka. I would do the same amount of amaretto and the same amount of Bailey's and with the milk and I think that would be perfect. Yeah, I agree. The vodka doesn't belong. It's too in strong. Here. We're gonna have our little Christmas tree thing here. We're gonna pop our Christmas tree back in the oven because we just made these and it's like probably not that warm anymore. I feel like maybe people would love this if they're not into really sweet drinks, but I need a little bit more sugar than this. For the dipping sauce for the Christmas tree, we're gonna use some of this Rouse homemade tomato basil sauce. It calls for marinara. I feel like it's probably pretty similar to this. And I've been meaning to try this for such a long time. I got this at Whole Foods, but I just recently saw they have it at Costco too. Mm. I never like canned tomato sauce. This is really good. Oh yeah? Mm. It is really good. Wow, it has so much flavor. We are gonna go enjoy this. I'll let you know what we think. How cute is this? It's growing on me. Maybe because it's like kicked in now, I'm like, oh, it's delicious. There you go. Bailey's and amaretto is a delicious combo. You have the star of the Christmas tree. How do you like it? Mm. So good, right? Mm -hmm. So cheesy. The topping's really nice. Initially, I thought there was too much Parmesan cheese, but maybe you just need to add more butter. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Probably better to have like four people to enjoy this with rather than just two. There's a lot of food here. So it's the next morning now. We're just hopping on to end the vlog. I'm just working on editing it right now. Hopefully I can get it done really quickly. How did you feel about everything yesterday? I loved it. Like the drinks were so Christmassy, so creamy and so sweet. And also the, the pizza tree. The pizza tree. <laughs> I call it the pizza tree because yeah. it tastes like those uh, pizza. Pizza bites. Pizza bites. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. It was really good. It was, I loved the appetizer. I think that'd be such a cute party appetizer for like next year when everyone can actually have people over. But the drinks, I actually really ended up liking them. The things I would change if I made it like that again is I would probably add less vodka, maybe like one ounce of vodka. And I would add like maybe half a tablespoon of sugar just to sweeten it up a bit, or maybe like a teaspoon, I'm not sure. Or I would use the regular vanilla flavored vodka because those usually have a little bit of sweetener in them. Not a ton, but they will be sweeter than just plain vodka. I felt like the alcohol flavor just was too strong with it. It was too strong. And it yeah, was so vodka. either if you want to create it, which I highly recommend because they were really actually super good, um, either leave out the vodka or use the vodka that's intended to be used or add a little bit of sugar. I would leave it out. Yeah. yeah. I, well, we haven't tried it with it being left out yet. We should try it. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll update you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was a little bit different because there was not really much footage in the daytime, but honestly, I really didn't do anything. I pretty much showed you guys everything that happened in the day anyway. There's not much daytime <laughs> No, no, in I winter. said there was not much. Yeah, that's true. There's not much right. daytime in winter. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. And we will see you all for Vlogmas Day 12. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. Merry Christmas.